All right, today is what is today? It is Monday, September 20th. This water is pretty green. I'm in the shade. It's a warm day, but it's not a hot day. It's like 79 degrees. There's a little breeze. There's ducks, obviously. You see the ducks. You can hear the ducks. There's ducks and there's geese. Those are geese. Some ducks over there. People are fishing here, by the way. You can fish here. You do need a license. You can buy a license for the day. I think it's like 10 bucks for the day. But get the annual pass. It's better if you like to fish. Annual pass. Go to Big Five. Spend 70 bucks. You get salt water, fresh water for the whole year. It's a better way to go. But you see a lot of people out here fishing all around this little lake. This is La Mirada Creek Park. La Mirada Creek Park. Obviously, there's a lake here. I don't know how deep it is. And I don't know what, what's in there. But there's probably catfish, I would imagine. Maybe some smallmouth bass, some stripes, striper bass. Uh, I don't know what kind of fish. I would have to ask. But there are fish in the water. Uh, people come up here to work out, play frisbee golf. There's frisbee golf stations uh, all over this park. So they have like team and stuff like that. And they, um, they they play frisbee golf. People work out here. Obviously, they jog. And across the street is the university, Biola. It's a cool little place. You got to, you got to get in the shade, man. I got a good spot. I'm going to fly my drone. This is the DJI Mavic Mini. We're going to break that sucker out. I wish I could show you, but once I use this phone that I'm filming on, you won't be able to see. But that's the drone. Got my water. Got to gotta always hydrate. Got to have your water. So I'm going to break this bad boy out. And uh little lens thing came off. Break this bad boy out. And have some fun before I go to work tonight. Got to work. At 4.45, they, they texted us already. The boss, the UPS supervisor, said start time for our shift is 4.45 p.m. Um, today, Monday. As we get closer to peak, we tend to start a little bit earlier. We used to start at 5 o'clock on Mondays. Now it is. Seems like we're starting off at uh, 4.45 every Monday. The last two Mondays, last Monday and this Monday, it's 4.45. That jogger is already across the street. She went around. It's good exercise. Uh, so this is my kind of calm before the storm. Start off. Enjoy your day. Like I have a lot of free time during the day because I don't work uh, my other job anymore. That job was kicking my butt. Believe it or not, it was. I got injured and the glass was breaking. It was crazy. I uh, got my final paycheck though, so that's nice put that money away pay some bills with it or something and then meantime ups again right now sure it's only 325 bucks a week but on october 1st that's my day number one starting as a driver helper we will be boosted up all those who applied pretty much everybody who applied got it unless you have a attendance issue which most people there don't uh, you know just be on time show up early Try to get there 15 minutes prior is always a good good standard. And then, you know, you're going to get sick days. If you need a sick day, if you're really sick, call off or whatever. But try to keep those down. Take care of yourself. Go to the park, de-stress, work out, drink a lot of water. It'll keep you from, you know, getting sick. You want to prevent illness as much as possible. That's a beautiful Rottweiler right there. Young dog. My favorite breed is a Rottweiler. I'm going to get another dog, another Rottweiler. So anyways... Back to UPS. Now again, uh, when I start, day one for me is October 1st, which is in about 10 days because today's September 20th. Um, the pay, you get a nice little raise. It's 21 an hour from what I understand or 22. I can't remember exactly, but it's either 21 or 22 an hour. I'm going to be expected to work five days a week, which is Monday to Friday. Whatever the driver's schedule is, is going to be my schedule. I show up at 7 in the morning. We, load, we get in the truck and we punch out. It's already ready to go for the most part. We start hitting our stops. You have about 220 stops in a day with traffic and with lunch breaks and so forth. You're talking about 9 to 10 hours to 10 and a half hours every day. 
plus since we're getting close to peak this is why they're they're hiring driver helpers right now uh, my boss already said he goes get ready to work Saturdays because that's coming like within once I start he goes about a week or two into it you're gonna start doing six days a week working Monday through Saturday but Saturday is completely time and a half and they're shorter days so it'll probably be like a seven or eight hour day on Saturday but it's all time and a half but Monday through Friday you're talking about 10 hours uh, at $21 an hour plus time and a half but the thing is Monday through Friday I'm gonna have to get out there with the driver do, do my thing with him or her or whatever whoever my partner is knock that out come back to the hub when I show back up to the hub wherever whatever time that is it doesn't matter because you're still on the clock you then go check in with your supervisor for me it's I'm permanently over there now with the bulk I'm a package handler but I'm I work at the bulk area now I don't do the unload anymore which is cool I just he told me last week he goes, man you're awesome don't even trip just report directly here to bulk every day you're good to go I said word sounds good because I'd rather do that anyways um so I'm a bulk package handler when I when I finish my day route, I'll go to bulk for about four and a half hours because, you know, we'll show up at 5 or 5.30, whatever time we get off of our drip, driving route. Go to bulk, and I'll work until 10.30 or 11 at night, whatever time frame that is. Then go home, shower, go to sleep, prep for the morning. Morning comes, my alarm will be set for 6 a.m., get up at 6, try to be at uh, UPS by 6:45. I think I, we check in about seven, and we're on the road by 7:30. And you and you're busting it out until 4:30, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, maybe a little later. Just depends. And again, if we do work until five or 5:30 in the afternoon, once we're done, we check in. Then I go to bulk, and then I I jump in on that sort, and I complete the mission there until 10:30 or 11 at night, which is usually for us 11. And when I'm there. I go back to $15 an hour pay rate as a package handler, but since it's already past eight hours, it'll be $15 uh, an hour time and a half, right? So it won't be just $15 an hour. So I'll be at $21 an hour for eight hours. Um, and then if we go over that, it's $21 an hour plus time and a half if I stay like seven or if I do nine hours or 10. And then I'll do $15 an hour plus it'll be a time and a half. So. Uh, you had what is that? Fifteen? Was it seven? So fifteen. That's what twenty. Uh, twenty-two. So it'll be at twenty-two an hour as a package handler, but the the time and a half rate for the driver helper is I think it's twenty-one. So twenty-one, and you cut that in half. What's half of twenty-one? Um, Eleven, right? So you add that to the twenty-one. You're at like thirty-two or thirty-three, something like that per hour. Um, but again, they do take a lot of taxes out of your overtime. Your overtime is taxed at like 40%, something way up there. It's a lot. So, but it's still a nicer check. And honestly, I already did a little math on it. If I'm doing six days a week plus five days a week as a package handler, you work in 14, 15 hour days. It's like 13, 1400 a week after taxes take home. So if that's something you sound, that sounds interesting to you, apply even if it's a seasonal position take it because you're you're getting your foot in the door they may keep you permanently afterwards they may not depending on how many people they need at the particular hub you're at the sooner you get hired the better your seniority is it gives you more of a chance to stay permanently as a permanent hire because like right now they are hiring for seasonal employees i found that out most hubs are starting to hire their seasonal help right now uh, in september as we get close to october so you can get some experience and if you're going to, you know, they'll see who's going to be able to work at a certain rate and push through it. So that way, come November, when it really hits the, se the season peak, you're already conditioned and ready for it. And you're not going to be shocked. So get in now if you haven't already gotten in so you can stay permanently and be part of the union. I've already passed my probation, which is awesome. This is week 11 for me. Um, so I'm fully, I'm a permanent employee, fully vested into the union. I've already paid my $200 initiation fee and then it's $30 a month. But over these next three and a half months, which is how long we're going to be doing the driver helper, I'm, I plan on saving up as much as I can. I mean, pulling in thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars a week, I don't need that much money for me. It's just me. I don't have any small children. I don't have any animals, no dogs, no cats, nothing like that right now. Just a car payment that's almost paid off. 
So that money is just going to be save, 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 save. And work, work, sleep, eat, shower, work, sleep, eat, shower, repeat. Work out, still work out whenever I can. I can hit the gym, but it's not gonna, I'm not going to have the time to hit the gym as much as I had. So now when I'm working out, I'm getting ready for that tougher schedule. So I, I do work out four days a week. Um, and I want to make sure that my body's ready for it when I do hit it. Because you, your body... Your body is your, your health is, is, man, health is wealth. All right, let me get, I got to do this drone. Just wanted to hit you up on that. Week 11, UPS, driver helper. There's seasonal hires going on right now, which you'll notice when you see the season hire, they do hire at a higher rate of pay. If you're permanent, they'll start you at 15 an hour. Seasonal hires, I think they're starting most of those guys off at 19 or 20 an hour because it's seasonal and then they'll let you go. Try to get in, stick it out. There's no promises because I don't know if they're going to keep you or not. But get in, dude. Just get in. Thanks for watching. Stuff's on Calvin out.